New firmware version 1.12.6 is here for the Behringer Wing, and there are a pile of new features to show you. First, thanks to everyone who supports the channel as a member here or through Patreon, and welcome to the new members this month. Thanks as well to Music Tribe for providing demo equipment for this video. So updating the firmware is pretty straightforward. You just download the file, you need to put it onto a FAT formatted USB stick, then we take that stick over and put it into the top port on the mixer, navigate to the setup menu, and then we just hit the update icon on the left hand side. From there, you should see the file that you just put on the stick and you can start the update. You'll need to confirm a few things. And then once that update has run its course, it only takes a minute or so, you'll be prompted to reboot and then you'll be good to go. Be sure to reboot properly by going to setup, shut down, and then powering off and then power back on with the switch on the back. Now there are a whole bunch of new audio related features, starting with the aux channels, and they now get a full six band input channel EQ at the channel level for every aux channel. And that's a big improvement. Aux channels, same EQ now on the aux channels. Furthermore, they've added a new combo dynamics processor to each aux channel as well. And that one does expansion and leveling all in one tool. Carrying on with Dynamics, all of your regular channels now have access to the new PIA compressor plugin, which has very familiar controls that you would expect from a 2500 stereo compressor. They've also added the new LTA 100 leveling tube amplifier, which has a very simple control scheme you'll be familiar with, and again, it's available on each channel. Moving over to effects, there's a new sub page that allows you to view all of the channel effects. And there are also five new effects plugin channel strips that combine popular tools for easy access and quick use. On the warmth plugin specifically, mix and drive range controls have been added for more options to choose from. Big news in the input delay department, each channel now has input delay going up to 500 milliseconds, and that'll give you much more flexibility when you're working with multimedia sources and video where each input might need different delay to sync. Channel send tap positions are much more clearly indicated and adjusted now for each channel, allowing you to choose tap positions very easily. There's nearly another whole page of new features from this firmware update, and those range from new ways to work with the solo bus to new layouts in the routing pages themselves to make it a little easier for first time users to understand how things work. But one of the most exciting other features that we haven't mentioned yet is the USB mouse support. With this new firmware, you can now plug in a USB mouse into the top port for quick and accurate control of the touch screen from your favorite mouse. There are options to switch off touch controls from the screen while the mouse is in use, and you can even set the speed for the mouse. They've already built controls in for that. There's so much in this update. I'd recommend Wing owners and regular users head to the website first, the Wing page, and download the package, the firmware update, and then check out the PDF that's in there. And that'll give you all the details about this update. Like I said, there are additional features we haven't mentioned here. Some of them really get into the weeds on some specific stuff. And then there's also some bug fixes, but either way, those might be bug fixes or features that you've been waiting for. If you're a longtime user, maybe it's something you requested. So check it out before you install and let us know in the comments if you're going to update right away or if you've got other plans for your system. It's exciting stuff and it'd be great to know from other users, especially folks that are doing more advanced stuff with these consoles, what you think of what they've done here. Be sure to share this video with anybody you know that uses a wing so they can get a look at it too. It's exciting stuff. Thanks so much for watching.